You mention a, go a global village. You called for the Israeli ambassador to Ireland to be expelled and for Israel to be referred to the International Criminal Court. Yes. Um, you stand by that? I... Obviously. I absolutely... Not alone do I stand by it. I am more convinced now than ever. I, I made that call uh, some months ago in respect of the ambassador. It is very clear that Netanyahu's government has no interest in international diplomacy, has no regard for our international institutions, up to and including the International Court of Justice. Um, I, the, the absolute imperative now is for a ceasefire, a complete and final ceasefire. Every effort needs to be made to attain that. But let me say this, Kay, for far too long, Israel has been allowed to act with impunity. It didn't start in October. This is a generational injustice that the Palestinian people have endured. And I think we are now at a tipping point. And I hope we are now at a point that even if some of the international leadership is still very blind to justice, mm. that all of us, activists, individuals, families, communities, mothers, fathers, say loudly and clearly, this needs to stop. And that means Israel has to be held to account. Okay.